Oh, can I talk? Good morning. We are live at St. Peter's Hospital with Dr. Michael Martinelli of Albany Associates in Cardiology. This morning we are talking about aortic stenosis. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. What can you, so what is aortic stenosis? Aortic stenosis is the calcium buildup over time, usually as a consequence of age, of the aortic valve, which is a valve that through which blood passes from the heart to the rest of the body. As the, as the blood comes in from the body, it goes into the right side of the heart and then gets pumped out to the lungs where it receives oxygen. It returns to the left side of the heart and ultimately is distributed to the rest, distributed to the rest of the body by the left ventricular chamber pumping blood through the aorta. The, the exit door of the heart, if you will, is the aortic valve and that is right here. Normal aortic valves look like this. They have three pieces of tissue or cusps and the cusps open and close as the heart beats. As the valve becomes degenerated or damaged as patients age, the valve can then get calcified and that calcification creates a problem for the valve to open. Much like a door as it ages it gets rusty and the, the exit door can't open. Um, there are forms of aortic stenosis which occur in younger patients, but the most common, by and large, is that seen in the older pa patient population. And uh, what are some of the available treatments uh, for this condition? Well, up until very recently, in older patients, the options were either open heart surgery or watchful waiting and just monitoring. And unfortunately, uh, that leads ultimately to severe symptoms and death. More recently, a procedure called transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, has become very popular, especially in Europe and then finally in the United States. And init initially it was approved only for patients who could not have surgery, patients who were too sick uh, and could not go through general anesthesia and an open heart surgery and a bypass pump run. The TAVR procedure, uh, as opposed to open heart surgery, is a procedure which is catheter based and done mostly through the groin, through a catheter, through the right femoral artery. Okay. Um, and what is the recovery time for a patient who has undergone TAVR and what can a patient expect? Well, by and large, what TAVR is, is a, is a catheter-based procedure. And the way we do the procedure is through the groin. And the, and it, and the, the catheter itself and the, the stent valve which is the new valve that we're putting in, is a valve that's tied to a stent or sutured to a stent. And the stent is on a balloon, and the balloon is tucked inside of a catheter. So the catheter is in, in, uh, placed via the right femoral artery through a needle stick. And therefore, the recovery from the TAVR itself is very short. Oftentimes, the patients could go home within 24 hours and back to normal activity. The catheter itself is placed through the groin and the valve is placed across the old valve. This is the new valve or the stent valve which is the TAVR valve and we place the valve through a catheter in the groin up through the aorta and then down across the valve. While we pace the heart to slow it down a balloon which is already inside the stent is expanded and the stent expands allowing the stent to grab the sides of the aorta. Once that happens, the valve itself, which is sutured inside the stent, can drop and start to function immediately. So it's really a new valve inside a stent, which then completely functions as the aortic valve used to, and the old valve is pushed away. So it's a relatively straightforward procedure. It's a non-surgical procedure, and the recovery time is very minimal. And uh, is there anything that can be done to prevent aortic stenosis? Unfortunately, up until now, there really is not any uh, one therapy or anything patients can do to actually prevent the disease. Some forms of aortic stenosis are congenital, and they're a less common form, an abnormal valve that you're born with. But most aortic stenosis, used to be called senile degenerative aortic stenosis, is a calcification of the heart valve over time and more commonly seen in elderly patients, which is what led to TAVR initially to do a procedure which is safer in patients who normally previously could not receive open heart surgery. So the procedure is much safer, 
the stroke risk is, risk is lower than open heart surgery, and now we're seeing the TAVR done in even younger patients and less ill patients. It was recently approved for patients that are considered what's called intermediate risk. Previously, it had only been available for patients who are at high risk or non-operative, and there are studies going on to look at patients who are at low risk for open heart surgery. So it's a procedure that really has, uh, continues to find um, indications in patients who are less and less complex. Great. Anything else that you would like to add today? Uh, I think that uh, it's, a, it's an up and coming procedure. We do quite a few of these procedures at St. Peter's. Um, the, the most important thing to remember about TAVR is that the, uh, it's not an open heart surgery procedure. It's um, a procedure which is minimally invasive or, or non-invasive and discharge is usually within 24 to 48 hours after the procedure itself and patients go very quickly back to their normal activities. Wonderful. And of course, for all of you watching, you can find out more about TAVR and aortic stenosis on our website. That's sphp.com. Thank you so much, Dr. Martinelli. Thank Appreciate you. It.